I'm Mike Golick Jr. and I'm joined now on the Notre Dame Day Hotline by my former teammate Tyler Eifert. Tyler was drafted 21st overall by the Cincinnati Bengals in the 2013 NFL Draft and is coming off of a breakout season. He caught 13 touchdown passes and was named to the Pro Bowl. Uh, Tyler, you've made us all proud in so many ways. Welcome to Notre Dame Day, man. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem, buddy. So uh, let's start here. You were a three-star recruit coming out of high school of Bishop Dwenger, and six years later, you're one of the top tight ends in football. How does something like that happen? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I... You know, coming out of high school, I was just trying to get a scholarship to anybody that would um, invite me and give me a scholarship to play football. So, um, you know, we started with that, and I had a couple offers, and Notre Dame came along pretty late. Didn't really even recruit me, but when they, you know, when Notre Dame offers you, you don't pass up, pass up that opportunity. So, you know, ended up ended up there, and. Um, and a lot of people were like, why, why would you go there? You know, there's six tight ends on the depth chart right now. But, you know, I've always just kind of waited my turn and let things play out and worked hard. And, um, you know, think, things have gone well. I think you can certainly say that things have gone very well for you. And, uh, Tyler, you worked so hard. At you were picked 21st overall by the Cincinnati Bengals. You dealt with a little adversity to start your career with some injuries. Uh, but after that, so much success. What's been the biggest adjustment from you jumping from the college game to the pro game? Um, I, I think a lot of people always you always hear this question, and a lot of guys normally say speed. Speed of the game is so much faster, but honestly, for me, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't really the case. I, I felt like I picked up the the playbook uh, pretty pretty quick, and you know, playing at Notre Dame, you play at such a high level, and you play, you know, great competition, all those things. So I think that made the transition a lot easier for me. I, I guess the biggest transition for me was just to. The amount of free time, um, you know, it's it is a job. But you know, when you're playing college athletics, you're going to school and then practice and all that stuff. So here, it's just all football, and you know, figuring out how to make that free time um, work and make sure it's productive was probably the biggest thing for me. Well, and speaking of free time, if you just. Uh... I understand return from a bachelor party where another former teammate of ours is getting welcomed in your family. What can you tell us about uh, that connection and what went down there? Yeah, it was actually quite a few Notre Dame guys. It was Zach, uh, Zach Martin and his brother Nick Martin was there, Alex Welch, Chris Watt, Dan Fox. You know, it was, it was a whole kind of a Notre Dame reunion down there. And, uh, you know, we, we, had, we had some fun. Uh, you know, it would be awesome to – you know, I guess me and Zach lived together in Notre Dame, and now now he's going to be my brother-in-law, which is kind of crazy. Funny story, though, I was sitting here, as you can imagine, I'm a little bit tired, and I woke up from my nap thinking I'd missed the call, but um, it looks like I woke up in time. <laughs> well, we're glad you were able to, to take time out of your nap and get here with us, Tyler. We really appreciate <laughs> you being with us tonight, buddy, and we're really hoping for another great season from you uh, coming up here. Thanks a lot, man.